benefit the Oregon District Tragedy Fund. 2 News reporter Aliyah Williamson is live with details from the benefit match. Well, Devro, the Dayton Foundation has already raised more than $3 million for the victims and victims' families of the Oregon District mass shooting. Now, police officers, firefighters, and military members are using the sport they love to raise more money for this fund and bring some healing to the city of Dayton. You know, we're Dayton strong. Nothing in the city of Dayton is going to knock us down. We're going to get back up and we're going to keep fighting. The Dayton Firefighters Hockey Club is taking the fight against violence to the ice, playing a hockey game against the Toledo Hockey Club to benefit the victims of the Oregon District mass shooting. Um, to the people that were killed, to the people that were injured, to the people that were just traumatically involved in this incident, that event's going to be with them the rest of their lives. If we're able to come out here and put a smile on their face, that's all we care about. We just want to make a difference in the Dayton community. But the match also serves another purpose. For the first responders and service members that make up the team, it offers them the chance to leave frustrations that come with the job on the ice. Well, I, I personally love getting to be on the ice with my friends and my buddies. And we have a stressful jobs. We're all police firefighters and members of the military. And, you know, every now and then it's nice to just be able to put some hockey pads out and come out and forget about work. Shot after shot, the hockey players, wearing a specially designed Dayton Strong jersey, release their stress and turn tears into smiles for their teammates, their fans, and the city of Dayton. We have to raise awareness and, and remember that day in August where, you know, Dayton shed a tear. And we're here today to say, it's not time to cry anymore. It's time to smile and remember who we are and to get better as Dayton citizens. Now, there were some members of the Dayton Foundation who were in attendance at this game. They were given the puck used for the face-off as a gift and reminder of today's benefit match. I'm Malia Williamson, 2 News, working for you.